So that is the interval between the deltoid supplied by the axillary nerve and pectoralis major, which is supplied by the lateral and medial pectoral nerves. In terms of structures at risk, the brachial plexus and axillary artery run underneath the pectoralis minor muscle towards the uh, upper arm on the medial side of the conjoined tendon of coracobrachialis and the short of biceps. Entering the conjoined tendon on the medial side approximately 5 to 8 centimeters distal to the coracoid is the musculocutaneous nerve and this is at risk from over vigorous retraction. Mark with a sterile marker pen your landmarks which are going to be the uh, edge of the acromion laterally and your coracoid anteriorly. You make a 10 to 15 centimeter incision which heads uh, towards the uh, humerus for trauma and typically for elective surgery this is going to be more vertical. After making the incision the skin you would then uh, diathermy any bleeders in the fat and you then want to identify the delta pectoral groove and find the cephalic vein and we can see that the uh, cephalic vein typically goes laterally uh, because of most of the tributaries being on the lateral side. Retract the deltoid laterally and this will then bring into view the clavipectoral fascia. I'll paint the um, coracoid process which is your next major landmark and we then incise the clavipectoral fascia on the lateral side of the conjoined tendon which is the safe side. Uh, depending on whether this is a trauma or elective situation this will affect how we proceed. In a trauma situation, there's often a lot of uh, distorted anatomy because of the fracture. We need to uh, look for the transverse fibers of subscap and the long head of biceps, which is going to be our next major landmark for placement of the phylos or proximal humerus interlocking plate. Uh, typically, if there's a head splitting fracture, which is into the intertubercular sulcus, the long head of biceps can be trapped in between the uh, tuberosities. An elective situation, we need to divide the subscapularis uh, in order to gain access to the glenohumeral joint. So this would be by placing stay sutures into the uh, subscap. We can identify the anterior circumflex humeral vessel and the vena comitantes, which forms the three sisters and we'd make a straight uh, vertical uh, incision. We can see we've got our stay sutures in subscap tendon pulling it out of the way and we then make a uh, capsulotomy uh, vertically. Whilst we're doing this we need to be conscious about the axillary nerve which runs in very close proximity by placing the arm into external rotation. This is going to move the uh, axillary nerve out of the operative field. We need to make sure we've got adequate exposure uh, by releasing the capsule all the way around. We can use a Bankart retractor anteriorly in front of the glenoid uh, or a skid passing through the joint to leave the humeral head.